Not only have EA brought us new skill moves in FIFA 23, there are new ways of performing existing skill moves. And I'm about to break them down for you. They've come out and they've said super flits have now been changed in terms of how you can actually perform them. Now super flits themselves have been quite handy. They were similar to the Dink Touch, which was brought out last year in FIFA 22. But basically, what they've come out and said is you can do super flits pretty much in any direction now. And they are more of a speed boost variation, believe it or not. But the way you perform them, and this is the FIFA 22 example here, is basically you press down on the R3 button, but you can go in any direction. So instead of going pretty much in a front forward facing direction with these super flits, you can go in any direction. You press down the R3 button and you flick the right stick to the direction you want to burst off in too. So if I want to go completely to the left, I then need to flip, press down and flick completely to the left of where the player is facing. And he'll do a super flip speed boost into that direction. And you can go in any direction you like, and it's a good way to speed boost into the space in FIFA 23. Skilled Bridge, okay, it's not performed the same as last year. They've come out and they've said that it's gonna be performed with L2 and the right stick and it's basically going to be similar to a heel flick heel flicks front and then back but this time you're holding l2 to perform the advanced skill bridge with the heel flip variation so you hold an l2 you flick forwards you then flip back and the player will perform the skill bridge the disguised first touch i believe not many people honestly use this simply because it was such a pain to perform and i think the actual trigger for you to perform this was always on and off. It wouldn't always perform when you did this. This year, FIFA 23, they've come out and they have said they've changed it to L1 R1 and you point the left and log stick forwards towards where the ball has been received. So you're not doing the R1 variation that was last year in FIFA 22. It has changed now and they're doing a front facing variation where you're holding R1 and L1 and you press forwards or hold forwards and this will do the disguise touch. So there you have it lads, there's three different skill moves that have been changed in terms of how you perform them. So don't go in expecting to perform them the old way. These are the ones that have been changed, so bear that in mind lads. Of course I'm gonna have tutorials on these when the full game comes out, but this is an update for you, so I thought you would enjoy it. I'm coaching one-on-one, -on -one. if you wanna prepare for FIFA 23, lads, everyone on there is not improving right now in my academy. Go and check that out. The link is down below. Also, I'm doing tutorials on TikTok and Instagram. If you want to check that out, the link is down below. I'm also doing a FIFA 23 giveaway over there too. So go and check those platforms out. But as always, hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sign Au revoir. Adios. Salam. Ciao. Goodbye.